guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be filming this smoky golden bronze eye look with a bright pink lip and I think this is the perfect look for a spring date night so if you want to see how I achieve this look then just keep watching I'm going to be priming my skin with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the Smoothing Primer. Today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation and I'm using the shade W6 which is my tan shade since I'm a little bit darker nowadays. And using the Morphe Deluxe Buffer Brush M439, I'm just going to buff that into my skin for a nice even coverage. Then moving on to my brows, of course I'm going to be using none other than Anastasia's Beverly Hills Brow Wears and I start by combing them through with the spoolie N and then filling them in and shaping them with the pencil side. And I love the really fine nib on this pencil, it allows me to get really up close and precise with my brows. Then once I'm done with filling them in, I give them another comb through with the spoolie end just to make sure it's all soft and natural looking. And then I set them with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Then I'm going to move on to concealing and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And I'm going to use that under the eyes to conceal any darkness but also around the face, especially around the nose and either side of my mouth where I tend to have a bit of redness and broken capillaries. And then using the Morphe G2 brush, I am kind of blending that in in a kind of patting motion. Um, not to wipe the product away and to keep the coverage there. Then to highlight, I'm going to be using Max Prep and Prime Highlighter in the shade Light Boost and I take that under the eyes in that classic V shape and down the centre of my face and that's just going to add a subtle amount of brightness to the face and again I'm using the Morphe G2 brush to blend that in. and highlighter working face I am going to use the RMCA no color powder I'm also going to take a little bit of that powder on a much more bigger powder brush and take that across the cheeks and that's going to provide a nice even base for me to apply bronzer and contour and blush onto without things looking patchy. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm going to start off with a transition shade and I'm using the Makeup Forever eyeshadow in the shade M646 and I'm applying that straight into the crease and blending it in using a mix of windshield wiper and circular motions. Then moving on to the next shade which is a kind of nice dark bronze shade, it's ME654. I'm applying that to the outermost part of the eye and just packing it on and building it up to the intensity that I want. And with any excess product, I take it across the middle, right in the middle of the crease. And I also take it on the inner corner of the eye. Then going back to the brush that I used to apply the transition color, I just blend the top edge of that metallic shade just so there are no harsh edges. And then I'm just repeating it on the other side. Then going in with the Makeup Forever eyeshadow shade I648, which is a light warm golden shade. I'm applying that right in the center of the eye where I kind of left it blank. And I'm applying most of the product right in the middle and kind of just fading it out either side so that it meets with the dark bronze shade. Then going in with the Makeup Forever eyeshadow I514, I'm applying that right in the center part of the mobile part of the lid just for some extra brightness so that when the light catches that really kind of bounces back and really brightens up the eye. Then to add a bit more depth and smokiness to the eye, I'm going in with Makeup Forever's eyeshadow in the shade M600 and I'm applying that with more of a tapered brush 
and just applying it to the outer V and then I'm using the same brush that I used to apply the transition shade and just blending that all in with the eyeshadow so it kind of looks a bit more seamless with no harsh edges. Then taking the Shumara Eyelash Curlers, I'm just going to give my lashes a quick curl. Then going in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in True Part, I am just going to do a little bit of a wing. Keeping that line really tight to the lash line and just thickening it out on the most outer part of the eye. <laughs> using a Makeup Geeks Corrupt and this will just give it a much more kind of softer, more hazy effect on the eyes. And I'm just doing that with a really flat, dense brush, just literally applying the shadow on top of the liner and blending it out. Then I am going to cheat a thicker lash line by tight lining my top waterline using the Marc Jacobs Gel Highliner in Black Earth. Then I'm going to coat my lashes with the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mega Volume Waterproof Mascara. Then moving on to the bottom lash line, I'm taking that deep bronze shade and applying that right the way along the bottom lash line. Then to add a little bit more definition, I'm going to mix Makeup Geeks Corrupt and Mocha on a more flat, dense brush and take that halfway along the bottom lash line quite closely to the lashes. And then to intensify the outer corners even more, I'm just taking Makeup Geeks Corrupt and applying it really, really closely to the lash line, just on the outside quarter of the bottom lash line and joining it up with the wing. And then I'm also going to apply a little bit of mascara to the bottom lashes. Then moving on to the inner corners of the eyes, I'm mixing the shades I648 and I514 and applying that right on the inner corners of the eye just to kind of brighten up the whole look. Then to highlight the brow bone, I'm going in with Makeup Geeks Rapunzel. This has so much payoff. As you can see, I'm trying to blend away the small amount that I applied to the brush. Then to add a little bit more glamour to this date night look, I'm applying some false lashes. Then moving on to contouring, I'm using the Australis AC Contour Highlight and Contouring Kit. And I'm using the middle shade, which is a grey tone brown. And I am just going to apply that right into the hollows of my cheeks. And I always find that it helps when you suck in your cheekbones because you can really see where that hollow is. And once I've carved in my cheekbone with most of the powder, I like to take the brush and blend upwards just so it's more of a kind of gradient effect. And also take the excess along the jawline, but also along either side of my nose just to kind of slim it down a little. Then using the lighter bronzer shade of the palette, I am going to take that on a big powder brush and apply that right over the contour. And this will kind of help soften out that line so it isn't as harsh, but also obviously warm up the complexion. And I pretty much take the bronzer around the perimeter of my face and also down my neck, just so the face and body are a bit more unified. Then moving on to the highlight shade, which is a really soft peachy champagne. I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones, but also slightly above the arch of my brow. <music> taking the tiniest amount of that highlighter along the center of my nose and my cupid's bow. Then moving on to blush, I am taking Makeup Geek's uh, blush in the shade Infatuation and just applying a tiny amount to the apples of my cheek. Then to make sure everything looks nice and seamless, I'm going over those powders with my foundation brush just to make sure everything looks well blended. Then moving on to my lips, I'm using the Jouer Longwear Lip Cream in the shade Lychee, which is one of their new liquid lipsticks. And 
I don't know, in this video the colour actually looks quite nice with the makeup, but I feel like in real life it's a teeny bit too pink for me, but um, I think it's quite a nice colour for spring though. Then to set that all in place, I'm using the Models Prefer Banali Makeup Setting Mist. And that's pretty much it. This is my smoky golden bronze eye look with a bright pink lip. Perfect for a spring date night. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this look. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel it would absolutely make my day if you did. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!